What is good to the family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's going on with the overall market and talk about Tesla stock. I also want to talk about why on earth Elon Musk is very bullish on Tesla. And he broke down why on earth it's very possible for Tesla to go to $2,000 a share in the future. So I want to break down when Elon Musk is saying that that may happen, why he's agreeing with what Kathy Wood said about the company in the past, and why this is some very, very bullish news for the long term of the company based off what Tesla is doing and based off what Elon Musk just said. Before I begin the time about all of this information, before I get into any more details, let me just mention a couple of things. I am firstly not a financial planner, so take none of this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble, the link down below and deposit any amount of money into the account, you are guaranteed up to 12 free stocks. The offer ends in just about six days, so check it out before they run out. Anyways, let's break down what's going on with the market in Tesla. When you look at the market, just as a big reminder for what I was telling a lot of people, so long as there's no bad news for the market that's like absolutely catastrophic, you know, the market could still be on a giant uptrend. And here's exactly why. When you look at the monthly on SPY, we have a cup and handle like formation that is developing, and there could be some downside forming before this thing starts to push up to new highs. And as for Tesla, right, could this thing pull back a little bit? Sure, yes, it can. But in the future, when the cyber truck is out and all these other things start to develop, when production is up and once we start to see demand really kick in for their new products after their expansion phase is starting to develop, we're going to see more and more upside in the share price, in my opinion, with more deliveries, more revenue, and more and more different businesses that start growing, which are owned by Tesla. I'm going to break down more details about that in just a couple of minutes, but I just want to let you guys know that the long term is still very bright and our all-time highs are yet to come. However, predicting exactly where Tesla is going to go over the next couple of years is kind of difficult. Kathy Wood said that $2,000 a share by 2027 is what she thinks is going to happen. And Elon Musk has agreed that Tesla could be hitting $2,000 very soon as well. What do I mean by very soon? Over the next couple of years. I'm going to break down exactly why that is just based off a couple of factors. So Kathy Wood was saying, 2000 a share by 2027 is her target and she has been right in the past about where tesla would go to not because that she, she just called everything out but it's more like uh, many investors saw her target and continued to buy up and buy up the price until we ended up reaching the target but in essence you could still say she was correct so sure and the same thing could still happen if she keeps on repeating big numbers like this she is saying that tesla could 10x for many different reasons one of the big reasons would be their development of AI and the robo taxi. Elon Musk has been talking a lot about that recently, and that is once again another very, very bullish catalyst. Now, Elon Musk said in July that Tesla might be getting close to starting production on its robo taxis very, very soon. He's saying that it's going to have infinite demand essentially, and it's going to help improve the FSD technology and the robo taxi industry. He's saying that it's going to be huge for them. And then later on, he mentioned that Kathy Wood. What she said uh, about her predictions and etc., it was very, very accurate. She said that, I'm sorry, Elon Musk said that about Kathy Wood very, very recently. He said that just a couple of weeks ago. And in July, he said that he sees a path for 5 to 10x for the company's value. He also said that Kathy Wood's uh, overall uh, projection is very accurate. And he said this just a couple of days ago, right? This was very recent as well. It's not just what he said in July. He also mentioned that instead of just being uh, based off AI, there's so many different models and different businesses that Tesla is a part of. We had Wedbush's Dan Ives come out and he said that the supercharger network could bring up to 20 billion dollars in annual revenue by 2030 and that the bulls have disruptive technology which are going to continue to help tesla grow to add on to this elon musk has you know it's been said that he has a 10 trillion dollar plan to get rid of fossil fuels now we can't get rid of fossil fuels immediately we're going to depend on them for a very very long time of course that is me being realistic and as realistic as possible i'm like i'm very very uh, aware of the fact that you know tesla uses fossil fuels to develop its cars and build them i'm not trying to trivialize their importance it's just that fossil fuels are not sustainable for the long term of humanity eventually we're going to run out of them and there's a limited amount of them available and that's why it's very important for us to transform civilization elon musk is saying that we're seeing a big domino effect this is what he was telling us tesla's goal okay i want to repeat this as many times as possible is not just to become the best company possible but to simultaneously help to help other companies work together at a bigger purpose and that is helping uh, us to become more sustainable so as time progresses and this is something that i believe is going to happen 
Tesla's are going to become more efficient and they're not going to be burning as many fossil fuels as time goes on. And then as, as time you know continues to progress, when people start owning Teslas and they start driving them more, they're not going to be emitting as much carbon into the atmosphere. Now, you can say whatever you want about global warming. That is your own choice, and I will respect your opinions. But you have to agree that there is a limited amount of fossil fuels. And for generations to come, we need to make big changes. So the automobile industry is just one big change and other you know, sectors are eventually going to follow. Elon Musk was talking about in a 41 page white paper about how the new plans are becoming more and more affordable. It used to cost about, they were saying like 20 trillion. Now it's closer to like even lower numbers like that. It used to be about 14 trillion is what I mentioned. And now it's about like 10 trillion for the overall plan. Uh, that is some big news because as time goes on, more and more and more individuals out there, more and more companies are basically doing things that are more technologically feasible and they require less and uh, less investment because less material extraction is going to be, become needed. And as time goes on, more and more companies working together in a way is going to be big. So what do I mean by working together? Tesla, for example, is developing new technologies. They released their patents to other companies. This helped other companies develop much faster. And that was some big, big, big stuff by them. We're seeing lots of big Chinese EVs. Elon Musk has spoken about them. We can say whatever we want about the Chinese government, but I'm just talking about their EVs. You have to admit that they are also in the race and China's a massive, massive market. So the whole world is just starting to transition into this EV phase and it's becoming more and more like the future. Now, I wanted to talk about the Cybertruck as well. Uh, I think I need to start off with this article, though. So there's been a lot of talk about the Cybertruck being spotted. This is another bullish catalyst for Tesla. So remember, Tesla has the charging stations. They have AI being developed. They have their own softwares, not to mention the hardware they're developing. They have new models coming out. They have high demand. They have FSD technology. They have the robo taxis. The list goes on. That is why Tesla is going to go into the trillions in valuation, in my opinion, and their deliveries are going to continue to respect an uptrend. Will it be a slowdown for the short term? Possibly yes, because of the current macroeconomic conditions and the higher interest rate environment. But for the long term, we could all agree if you look at the Cybertruck, they have a backlog of orders. So many people ordered them. They have all these different orders coming out. And even though the, the, the car isn't like officially out just yet, it's not in consumers' hands just yet on a regular basis. It's going to be coming very soon as they're working on production as I speak. And I can't wait to see what on earth the future holds. So we have a release candidate right over here. Uh, there was some talk about how the release candidate didn't have like the cameras some people wanted and things like that. But I was looking at uh, other prototypes which suggest that they are going to have the cameras, possibly the 360 degree angles. But even though it's not confirmed, uh, there is a good chance that's going to be incorporated based off what Elon Musk has said. So uh, there were some talks, like people were saying there's no parking sensors, no 360 cam, no rear cameras. But that's not entirely true because I was looking at this article here and we could see and there's a front bumper camera that should be installed, not to mention side cameras. You can see them like right here that should be able to be giving it the 360 access. Will the original and initial models have it? I'm not 100% sure, to be honest with you all. But I do believe that Tesla will eventually implement these cameras around it for safety and for other reasons. Now, will the 360 be available? There's a possibility of that too. Uh, Musk has mentioned that in the past, uh, but there's nothing 100% confirmed about it just yet since we're still waiting for more details about specs and etc. Now, looking forward, you know, you can see it has this like front camera that there are more photos hinting towards this for the Cybertruck and also for uh, their other models. I think this is really, really cool. There could even be like a back camera, side cameras for like the uh, other areas which are harder to see. And it's going to help them with enhancing parking and navigation and things like this. So this is something really cool I was just looking at. And I think this is very cool. You could also see a bird's eye view with the 360 image control. That's pretty cool too. I can't wait to see how this looks, not to mention the blind spot, uh, you know, being able to like those cameras too, being able to see them. Something else that's bullish is Tesla's securing deals with these hotels. I mentioned this on Thursday, but this is big news because more hotels may incorporate Tesla's technologies to incentivize more people to come and simultaneously help Tesla grow. This is once again another good piece of news that makes me bullish for the long term because Tesla has control over the supercharger networks and then more companies are just adopting them from Honda. Remember it was Ford, it was GM, Nissan, now Honda is joining in the race. This is big news for 2025. Imagine how many Hondas are out there that will be incorporating Tesla's chargers, going to Tesla superchargers. That is just incredible news for Tesla. From charging to AI to development of technologies to deliveries, 
I am very, very bullish, not to mention the fact that Elon Musk is talking about a next-gen car. So they could be unveiling a $25,000 next-gen car in the future. Uh, I don't know exactly when. It could take a longer period of time, maybe a short period of time. Who knows? Musk mentioned that towards the end of this year or early next year, they should be unveiling it or sooner. So once this comes out, this could be another bullish catalyst when there's lots of hype and excitement associated with this new model. And then if it looks like the Cybertruck, that's going to be awesome too. Maybe like a small version of it. I think that would be pretty interesting to witness. If not, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, but if this ends up coming out alongside the Robo Taxi, that is going to be huge. Demand is going to explode and Tesla sales are going to go through the roof. The FSD technology, the demand is huge and their AI development is going to be another massive trillion dollar catalyst for them, a, a multi-trillion dollar catalyst. That is huge for Tesla. Once again, guys, the list goes on about some bullish things coming out for the market and that's why I'm still a big bull on Tesla for the long term. So is Elon Musk right about $2,000 a share alongside Kathy Wood? I believe that nobody could say with 100% certainty, since I don't want to like BS anything on this channel, but the truth is there are most definitely catalysts and uh, different pieces of technology that being developed that could bring Tesla up there. We want to see good revenue, we want to see continued growth, and I think Tesla's on a very good track for the long term. So I like to make videos like this to talk about the fundamentals, which are still strong for the company. For the short term, and by short term, I just mean for the next year, there could be some slowdowns because of their overall, you know, margins taking hits with slowdowns in demand, uh, you know, with the potential recession coming. You know, all these different things could slow Tesla down for the short term. But as time goes on, we are going to look back at the recession. We're going to look back at all the things happening right now with the demand issues and et cetera, whatever people try to say. And it's just going to be like some other day because the growth we're going to see in Tesla is going to trump the downside that could come amidst all those types of things. So I'm still a big bull for the long term. I think Elon Musk and Kathy Wood are correct about Tesla seeing some very, very bu big bullish potential, and I'm still very bullish nonetheless. So with that said, guys, thank you all so much for listening. Could there be downside for the short term? Yes. You know, September tends to be a weaker month for the market historically. I will talk in more details about September, though, in another video. I'm just speaking in general right now. But the long term is still very bright. Tesla is still in great hands and Musk has made some correct points in my opinion. So hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully this video brought more conviction for people out there who are bullish on Tesla. If Tesla continues to drop in the future, right, they're good buying opportunities for the long term because we know this thing has so much potential and I can't wait for what the future holds. Not financial advice, by the way. Thank you for listening. Have a good one. Tesla to the moon as the long term is very bright alongside many other stocks out there. And peace out.